Ukraine in 2016, two years into a conflict with Russian-backed separatists. Despite a ceasefire agreement, the war in the East goes on. In addition to the continued presence of heavy artillery, which was supposed to have been pulled back, another fight also continues unabated, a propaganda war. The Ukrainian soldiers are being subjected to a huge amount of Russian propaganda every day through radio, text messages, television, trying to demoralize them, uh, trying to get them to turn against their own government, essentially. The Wall Street Journal spent a week on the front lines in eastern Ukraine, traveling with Ukrainian military officers and visiting with Ukrainian troops. Here, at a frontline position, far from the reach of Ukrainian broadcasts, these soldiers could pick up nothing but Russian television. They want to shoot immediately. They want to shoot immediately. Because they all the time. One of the most notorious examples, a Russian report in July 2014, in which a woman said to be a refugee claimed she had seen a child publicly executed by Ukrainian soldiers. The Ukrainian government says this never happened. Russia acknowledges that information and deception are part of its military campaigns, but denies trafficking false news reports. Russian officials say it's the U.S. and Ukraine who are misleading the public. Still, unconfirmed reports like this continue. Люди до сих пор не могут отойти от шока. Сложив мозаику из услышанных обрывков разговоров украинских солдат, они ужаснулись той участи, которая, возможно, им была уготована. Тоже задавали им вопросы местные жители. Ну зачем? Почему вы? За что вы воюете? Нам пообещали клаптик земли и два раба. Soldiers, like these members of the 53rd Brigade in Novosolivka, are also being targeted with rebel text messages, meant to create doubt and insecurity, like this one. The East will not forget you. The West will never remember you. You have to know your close family will curse the Kiev government when you die. I think they are far, far more effective than any other nation in the world in their propaganda. And they are very efficient in, uh, in uh, building up walls between um, allies and partners. We have different values in Ukraine, and we win in the field of battle. We don't win yet in the field of information. But now, Kiev has a new weapon in the war of information, a radio station for Ukrainian soldiers called Army FM. The most important for radio station is just to uh, establish a new source of information to our soldiers, a source of information in the area where there are certain mm -hmm. problems with access to it. Yeah, so radio is the easiest way. Army FM is based in Kiev with three radio towers in the east that broadcast to the ATO zone, the territory where the conflict is taking place. Army FM is backed by Spirit of America, a U.S.-based nonprofit. We are here in Ukraine uh, at the behest of our U.S. government partners who said that this is one of the most important strategic situations that they are confronting right now. According to U.S. officials, support for Ukraine's fledgling information war is part of a larger struggle against Russia's global propaganda machine. Russian officials say that what Americans call propaganda are factual broadcasts about Ukrainian government incompetence or corruption. Soldiers at these guard positions near Chermaluk, which had been hit by artillery fire just days before, said Russian propaganda is becoming more intense and targeted at frontline troops and civilians. Ukrainians are our friends, they're partners, allies, and we need to help them against this threat from Russia. If we don't support them at this time of great need in their war against Russia and the Russian-backed separatists, we will see problems further into Europe, Russia emboldened, and the kind of things that we, we stand for in the world eroded further. Spirit of America has provided $200,000 in funding to the Ukrainian government, which has helped put up transmitters, outfit the studio, and cover other costs related to the project. Every soldier that I've spoken with has said 
one of the things that is most challenging in this fight is that there's no information coming from the Ukrainian side. It's all coming from the Russian side and the, and the Russian-backed separatist side. The radio station is also connecting troops in the east with the military leadership in Kiev. Військового радіо це перш за все розуміти настрої військовослужбовців, той дух, який зараз у наших військовослужбовців на передовій, а також від отримати відповідну інформацію, можливо, в ході критичних репортажів, можливо, в ході тих питань проблемних, які задають і військовослужбовці. If we do it right, it will change uh, how people see their leadership in Kyiv. Because I hope we will have uh, our leadership on that radio as our guests. And I think that uh, it will build up the link between leadership and soldiers. The team behind the radio station believes that will be key to the station's success. Trust and credibility are more important than transmitters, studio equipment. It's the most important thing, and the Ukrainians understand that.